Key on uh, Latinos, Hispanics, getting to know them. That Mrs. Marsh, Elena Castaneda, at Evergreen Junior High, it wasn't just the kids that respected her. As her principal, I'll make uh, very clear, I didn't intend to ever cross her because I thought if I upset her, she might well say, God, strike him dead, and it might be my last moment on earth. Powerful, powerful person. And what a sweetheart. What a fine human being. If everybody was of her caliber, it would be easy to be a human being. The world would be in such great shape. Easy to be a principal. Was easy in terms of her, because she took care of business and yet was kind and loving, just a great teacher. Well, later she leaves us, and Jay Sandoval comes as the Spanish teacher and the wrestling coach. Jay wrestled up at Greeley for, I think, uh, about a 130 pounder. Certainly not up to 140, because I don't think he weighed 140 when he was there as a coach. Married to a beautiful little blonde, fine, fine man, courageous little guy. Did a lot of good things and really built our wrestling program up. Among other things, one day when I was having, at the end of the school year, the not pleasant task at all of telling a huge coach that he, he didn't he couldn't even teach PE decently and didn't try to. He informed me he was just hired and was being put in our junior high awaiting the time they would assign him to a high school wrestling job. Or not wrestling, football job. Well anyway, I'm letting him know that I don't care what the county does with you, you're not going to be recommended to return to this faculty. And man, he gets angry and threatening and raising his voice and Dumb me, I must have been raising my voice right back. And wham, 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 knock on the door, open the door, and there's Mr. Little Tiny Jay Sandoval. Sticks his head in, and he says, If you two are going to fight, go somewhere else. I'm trying to teach class next door. You know, it made it pretty easy to wind that up and get that gentleman out of the door and away from my school and get a good picky teacher in there. I don't know if he ever got that high school coaching job or not. The last I knew, he was a fox turned loose at the college campus selling life insurance to kids in one of the uh, Denver area colleges. Back, uh, one other thing about Jay Sandoval. Grew up near Brighton, and his dad, if I understood Jay correctly, uh, earned his money in the fields. Begged, borrowed, saved, got the oldest child through college with the understanding dad and mom are putting you through, you put the next one through, and that obligation moves down and each of the children after they get their college degree put the next child through college. And they did it. Oh, what a family. What a fine, fine example of realizing the American dream. Well, Roy went on to high school, of course, and his wrestling coach up there was Art Madrid. And he, Roy tried to come back a time or two, but this was before we had all that knowledge about how to rebuild knees and so on, and he never did make it again as a wrestling team member to wrestle. So he became the manager. And so Donna and I, and the youngers, younger kids, we followed wrestling at home religiously and often went even to the away matches because we had, you know, got acquainted. I got acquainted with our wrestlers when they were in junior high and now they're up there in senior high and our son's up there. And I'll tell you what, Art Madrid is another fine human being. Incidentally, he's a good guy to go hunting with, too. One of the very first days that I was on duty at Evergreen Junior High, I saw movement outside the office window. I looked out and here was a little, well, not really little, there was a kid that was 
well over 200 pounds on a rather small bike and he's going down the way and I say to the secretary, hey look at that kid, who is he? She said, that's Smokey Barnes. Smokey Barnes. Boy, you'll hear more about him in the next part of this.